And you'll take your inheritance, son. Don't let nobody else get your inheritance. Don't let nobody else get your inheritance. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let nobody else get your inheritance. Yeah, I know. Come on out. You three right there. Come on out. Quickly. Come on out. I, I just try to follow the Holy Ghost as much as I can, you understand? Watch him now. They're not going to be much, y'all. Get, get, get a little more quicker you can. Hallelujah. You're either going to get it up or down, because if you go on the floor, I'm going to give it to you anyway. You see. You see. You see. Receive. Now. You come and take it now. You come and take it. Watch where you're walking and get on up here. Watch where you're walking. Get up here. Right there. Back up some. What I got somebody behind me. Receive. Now. Now. Glory to God. Watch him just walk over. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to show you another aspect of this. Ministers, I want you to see. It's another aspect of this. Not only did God give me money cometh. I didn't know what he was doing the next time he came to me. But his money was a mission. And he gave me something called mass ministry. Now, the people who are going to answer this altar call, this, this room, or hold them, we have to put them up here, too. You understand? I'm about to make a call that every person in here not baptized with the Holy Ghost is going to get baptized. I don't care if you're Baptist. I don't care if you're Catholic. I don't care what your background is. If you're saved, every one of you will get baptized with the Holy Ghost tonight. Every person in here. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, whoever's in there. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, whoever's in there. Look at the cover story in Rolling Stone. A woman possessed. This article says Beyonce is gripped by a spirit so powerful it even has a name. A powerful spirit? And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up. And it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me 
and he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, a f you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. You have to separate the two, and you don't know how to do that. So that's where I come in, and I keep your emotions, and I deal with your emotions over here. But when it comes time for business, I implement what you told me on the emotion side into handling it in a professional manner. Um, when I was um, making love to my old boyfriend, I used to think about women sometimes. Oh, good lord. <laughs> surgery again or you know you know with another knee but at the end of the day you know I have I have amazing teammates you know guys like Draymond everybody on this team they they, they come over there they wrap their hands around me like <laughs> I'm sorry I was in a trance I'm sorry is there someone talking to you yes yeah, sorry Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney. Have you have we lost you? Mm -hmm. All right. It looks like uh, Courtney doesn't really want to go there with that question. I think she's question. blanking. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney. Have you have we lost you? Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy vertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go ahead, Terrace Terrace, and let's go the bit. They had the pet. Yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good, uh, <laughs> a good day to die. But I, I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It's, that, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich, and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, die hard. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, weird. Hello. Um. Oh my goodness. Hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Oh, um, yeah, it was a weird. Com slash chat to voice your opinion. I'm chatting too. We'll try to answer your questions. Uh... Marshall Mathers. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. Like a boy in the bubble who never could adapt. I'm trapped. If I can go back, I never would have rapped. I sold my soul to the devil. I'll never get it back. I just want to leave this game with level head and so was that the great Rick Rubin who was uh, helping produce that with you, uh, Marshall, when you did that? Yeah, sorry. Live <laughs> TV. <laughs> Live TV freaks me out a little bit. No. Um, yes, I'm sorry. What was the question? Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? I have to ask you this. So many mothers uh, in my audience have said, to please ask you this question. Yeah. Why do you always grab your crotch? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
you become the emotion of what that sound is. Uh -huh. Okay? So if I'm doing a move and then I go BAM and I grab my... It's the music that compels me to do it. It's not saying I'm getting ready to grab down there and it's not a great place. You don't think about it, it just happens. Sometimes I'll look back at the footage and I'll go, and I'll go, did I do that? Yeah. So I'm slave to the rhythm. Yeah. Okay? Mm hmm I think the alarm's going off in the house. I don't know why. You don't know what that is. I have no idea. Well, you don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letterman doesn't know. Well, we don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. So what's happening in our world right now? Because there is a lot of news that actually is relevant that's not that Here's uplifting. the thing. It's not our world. None that's of this is key. real? Nope. nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. We don't matter. You know why? Because y'all been lied to. Google lied to you. Facebook lied to you. Radio lied to you. I am putting my career, my life, my public well standing at risk when I talk to y'all like this. This is a moment in the matrix, bro. The vibes is back. friends and uh, he's a good man. Been doing well. Long time. We've been friends for a long time. Life. We discussed it. I just want to take a picture right now. <laughs> Yet another child star. This is Amanda Bynes we're talking about, formerly of Nickelodeon. Here she is wearing a ratty wig, appearing in court on charges of smoking weed and then throwing her bong out of a 36th floor apartment. Our first caress. Overtly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person 
who is under a hypnotic trance. You're doing really well now, but didn't you release a CD like almost 10 years ago? Um, yeah, I mean, I released a gospel record when I was 15 um, because I grew up in uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music and my parents are both traveling ministers. And so I kind of sang about you know, what was going on in my life at 15 and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out and so I sold my soul to the devil. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Music came with a few toys like a happy meal. It's a coordination not there at the moment. So as a doctor, I do a bit concerned. Coach Patrick Moritoglu, and still looking unwell. She looked dizzy and disorientated uh, out on court number one, had the doctor on court for 13 minutes before she played the match, only completed three games. Stay out <laughs> of my head. So let me ask you this, what is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a hundred million dollar deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. I gotta learn how to walk in these shoes. Um, uh, well, I'm 
Uh, do I have to? No, I'm a professional. Okay. Um, and you're. Need to learn how to walk in those. I, I did the walkers. Exactly, they're logging boots. Walmart specials. I love Walmart. So do I. My album is gonna be sold at Walmart. Good girl. All right. Your outfits are one of a kind. You don't know. When I look at your stuff, when, I've seen, when I see you performing stuff, I think Salvador Dali and MC Escher. What do you want to do with your outfits? Where do they all go? Where do all the creativity go? Where do they go with them? Um, they go to that planet GOAT that okay, I was yeah. in the Born This Way video. The government owned alien territory and space. I just send it all there. It's in a giant archive. Um, when I was um, making love to my old boyfriend, I used to think about women sometimes. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I'm sure he was delighted when you told him because... <laughs> Paralyzed.